Hello, my comic book loving sons of bitches and wonder women that might be watching welcome to this week's comic book haul. This haul was purchased on March 9th, 2018. Daylight Savings Time. It's this weekend. Not looking forward to it. We lose an hour of sleep. Guys, I hope you will forgive me. I'm kind of stuck up. I had a really, really bad cold this past week, and uh, still kind of getting over it, so I'm a little stuffy right now, but it's all good. Now, we did get a couple of Funko Pops, but we will show those later. I still have to show you the ones that I got last month. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, we are going to keep it about the comics this week, and uh, we're going to get through this video so I can stop talking. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, so as always, big shout out to the Comic Haven and Under City Comics, both in Whittier, California. Alright, let's go ahead and start out with the um, Comic Haven Hall. It's a pretty decent sized hall. Not, not huge, but not, you know, yeah, nothing, uh, we call it, uh, it's no slouch. Let's, let's call it that. Alright, so we start out with, um, number two, X Men Red. Nice little, uh, image of Nightcrawler. Unless that's night, that's not Nightcrawler, and I'm mistaken. I don't know. I don't read this comic. Uh, then we got number 23 of X Men Gold. I'm not sure who that is, but, uh, okay. Again, I don't read it. I don't read it. My sister does. Uh, we have number th three of Rogue and Gambit. Ooh, that's pretty badass. That's a great little color right there. I like that. Got them surrounded. They're about to get some, into some action. Uh, we have number 699. Ooh, one more issue until number 700. But we have 699 of Captain America. Oh boy, he's got, he's got his, his work cut out. <laughs> I mean, he's got to separate the Hulk and the thing. Uh, that's a pretty big job. Um, out of time. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what Marvel is doing. I really don't. Uh, then we have number 29 of Deathstroke. We got cover A right here. And I really, really did cover B. That, that is some bad ass artistry right there, guys. We got Deathstroke looking all badass with <coughs> two Uzis. We got a bunch of skulls in the background. This is a pretty good image of Deathstroke. This, this almost looks iconic, you know? So, I, I really have to start reading this series. We have number 10 of Game Conquest. This should be ending soon, no? 12. 10 of 12. Sheesh. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought originally this was only going to be like a six-part series. I don't remember it ever being uh, listed as a 12-parter. As a Whatever. Uh, we had number six of Batman White Knight. That's a pretty cool cover right there. But we have, uh, I believe this is cover A. Yeah, cover A. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's cool. Literally. Dr. Freeze. Cool. Then we have number 9 of Avengers No Surrender, which of course is issue number 683. We have 797 of The Amazing Spider-Man. Wow, that's pretty cool! Number uh, 163 of Venom. Alright, I did it. Uh, so then we got some Gazzaro action on Superman, Gazzaro vs. Part 1. This is issue number 42 of Superman. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And, um, an ultra cool 
variant. Look at that variant. Very reminiscent. Well, not reminiscent. It is a homage to, uh, to I believe it was uh, issue one of Superman, the one that was released at Rebirth. I'm not sure, but that's cool. Number 13 of Bombshells United. My sister saw this and she was like, oh, she, like, she was like stunned when she saw it. It was so majestic to her. And I have to agree, this is a really, really fantastic cover. The Injustice covers just outdo themselves every time. We have number 21 of Injustice 2. Ah. So we got number 42 of Green Lanterns. And, of course, we have a very enchanted variant. Always, always a good week when we got Batman, and that's exactly what we got. We got number 42 of Batman, featuring the Justice League. That should be a fun read, and a really, really sexy variant of Poison Ivy. I love my Harley Quinn, and we got number 39 of Harley Quinn. It's a much better cover A than the last issue, so, and the variant is really cool. I, I did that right there, that's cool. Did I just graze the mic? I did, didn't I? And finally, from, under, from the comic haven, we had number 40 of Justice League. That's really cool. And... Yeah, that's actually a really uh, nice variant right there, too. I did that. So that does it for the uh, Comic Cayman Hall. Now, next, I will show you, of course, the um, Under City. Oh. Under City's Hall is actually pretty cool. Remember, remember most, most of the time, Under City is filled with variants that we collect, and a few indies, so let's see what we got this time. And also, just to remind you, some of these I'm seeing for the first time because, uh, you know, I go in and I get my little stack, my sister gets her stack, we kind of separate, um, and it's always interesting to see what she gets. At, at the Comic Haven, they give us our stack when we walk in. Uh, and we pretty much get everything from our pull list. Really, are there any extra comics on the wall that we need? Uh, so we see each other's stacks. Uh, uh, again, every comic we get is for us. We're welcome to read anybody's comics. But what I'm saying is, she reads. She has her stacks that she reads immediately, and I have my stacks that I read in a year, but uh, at Undercity, we get our little tiny stacks from the counter, and then we go to town on the wall. So let's see what my sister got, and of course what I got. Uh, we have number, holy shit, four copies. Uh, number three, let's see, that's cover A. Uh, cover A, B, C, wow, four covers of Number three, Van Helsing vs. Robin Hood. I gotta check this out. I gotta check out these other uh, issues that they have. But here's cover A. That's pretty cool. Cover B is really rad. Did I say rad? I never say rad. <laughs> okay. Cover C, or cover cleavage, as I always call it, because every uh, cover C emphasizes on cleavage, I'm telling you. And wow, that is hot. That is an awesome cover. Cover D right there, that's sick. Wait. Yeah, okay, that is cover D. Okay. Um. Oh, this is a one-shot. I like that it actually says one shot. And that looks pretty cool. Which one is cover A? 
Uh, so we had one shot of Hell Child and Inferno. Now my sister doesn't read Inferno because she has read Hell Child in the past. Apparently they're teaming up for a one shot. That is a really cool cover right there. And here is the variant. Nice. Uh, number five of Elsewhere. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is about Amelia Earhart. Okay. Number four of the librarians. I asked my sister, why do you collect that? Do you watch the show? I says, I've seen a couple of episodes. Okay. We weren't sure if we should get this because my sister got this. She got issue number one last time. Uh, and she hasn't checked it out yet. Um, it's, it's Dark Horse. Is it Dark Horse? Yeah, it's Dark Horse, right? Um... So it should be good. But we have number two of Incognito Renaissance. If anybody's reading that, let me know. I'd like to know if that's any good. Now, this intrigued her, and she started looking for other past issues, for back issues, but apparently this series has been getting, like, they've been getting, like, broken up installments, so they haven't been receiving every issue. I guess this might even be the first issue that Undercity has received. Uh, but it intrigued my sister, and I can actually see why she loves monsters and, and stuff like that. And it's probably a cool series. It's IDW. Uh, we have number... I don't even know number, number four. IDW puts really tiny number issues. Uh, wait. Yeah, number four. Um, Frankenstein Alive Alive. This is number four. That's a really cool color. Uh, the, the, uh, printing is actually really cool. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I'm not sure what you call that. It's not. Actually, you know what? It is embossed. Is it embossed? Is it embossed or debossed? I don't know. It's embossed. There's some slight embossing on the uh, the the title. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, the whole design is embossed. That's that's really really cool. Uh, she's gonna see if she can find the other issues, uh, and hopefully it's good because I've never heard of it. <sighs> don't fall. Don't fall. I think my comments are going to fall. Okay, we have number seven of Star Wars Adventures. You know me, I gotta have my Star Wars. No matter what it is. This looks really silly. And by the way, guys, I, I heard that Star Wars Rebels concluded. I, I can't I can't cry with you guys yet because I have not seen the series, but I cannot wait to start it. Uh, but I hope it was everything that you guys were hoping for. We had number 44 with a beautiful cover. Really inspiring, in fact. Number 44 of Star Wars. Look at that. Beautiful Princess Leia. Leia. <sighs> uh, that's really, really cool. <coughs> number 40 of Nightwing. It's Nightwing. God, number 40, I can't believe it. If I'm not mistaken, I think the, the issue I left off on was number 11. Jesus Christ, I got a lot to catch up on. Oh my God, however am I going to do it? We have number 38 of Green Arrow. I was worried about this. I was thinking, what happened to Green Arrow? I thought it was a, a bi-weekly comic. I can't remember the last time I saw it. I don't know if it got pushed if it got pushed back at one point or if I just missed an issue. I hope not because Undercity has been good as of late pulling the, it, each issue. Uh but I don't know, I just I found it kind of peculiar where one week I got a Nightwing comic and I didn't get a green arrow, so maybe it got pushed back or it became a, a monthly uh installment. As a matter of fact, it probably has, because look, Nightwing is at number 40, and it's always come out with Nightwing, and this is 38, so I guess 
guys, let me know if you know if it's become a monthly installment instead of a bi weekly. In fact, it is now three ninety nine, so that tells me that they cut it short. I'm okay with that because <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got so much to uh to catch up on. Uh, I did get the variant. Because one, they actually had it, they rarely ever have the variant. That's not true. I used to be able to get the variants over cover A, but as of late, they haven't had too many variants, uh, but they did this time. They had it, and I like the way Canary looks, so I decided to get it. Okay, so, guys. I need your help. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this because, quite frankly, I'm tired of Marvel events. I'm tired of collecting all these use these useless uh, comics that are supposedly tied into each other, but half the time they rarely match up. But anyway, we got the new event coming up. We have Infinity. I have Infinity Countdown number one. I hesitated like hell getting this because... Is this even a... Yeah, it's kind of Uh, Because I, I don't even know if I want to take part in this. I don't know. So, guys, if you have... Any interest or disinterest in Infinity Countdown? What, what's the deal with it? You, you think it's something that's going to be worth collecting, reading? Uh, I do know that they are bringing back Black Widow as a result of this, which I want that. I like Black Widow, and I know that Captain America is involved, but I just don't know if I want to get invested in this shit again. And I think I actually missed something. I think something came before this, so if I decide to take on this, I'll have to get that. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with Infinity Countdown. I, I don't know. And lastly, we got some, uh, the Shadow Batman. We had number six, um... They had cover D, cover, okay, they get cover A, so that's good. And they have cover C. So, this is all they had. They did not have any other ones. Uh, and I guess that's okay, because three is enough, right? Uh, so anyway, we do have cover A, which I think is really cool. This is cover, yeah, this is cover C. Which I really like. I like this art style. This is it's really nice. Uh, and just seeing Batman tower over uh, the shadow like that. I just I love shit like that. And I... I almost passed on this one. But I was like, you know what? Why not? We have color D. Really nothing special. But... Uh, I don't know, I just figured, you know what, why not, I mean, I mean give it a shot. I don't know what color B looks like, and usually, for some reason, this series does not have great color Bs. Like, they usually don't catch my eye, so maybe it's for the best that I didn't find it. Uh, unless it's a really kick-ass color that everybody bought because it was so awesome, I don't know. But you know what, I'll take what I can get, and there it is. So guys, thank you for watching. I deeply do appreciate it. I know I am horrible because I have not been getting back with you guys. I know some of you have been kind enough to leave me comments and I ple and I ask that you continue to do so. I swear I do read them. I'm just really glad at responding because I have been very busy on Twitch uh, promoting my stream uh, and you know, I have been sick, and I probably should have responded to, to comments when I was sick, uh, but I'm just not really active on YouTube, uh, unfortunately, but please do not hold that against me, I will get better, uh, and I know some of you guys want me to watch your videos, 
I'm trying, guys. The day, I swear the day is limited. Um, it takes a lot of time networking and actually communicating with people. And, of course, having a stream on top of that. And then, of course, wanting to do other things, you know? I, that's why I don't even really get to read my comics half the time. Because I'm busy doing my networking. Uh, on top of that, I'm looking for an actual job, so... Does that. But anyway, please have patience with me. I, I, I do thank you guys for your support. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will read it and hopefully respond to it. I had I actually have to catch up to last week's uh comments. I know I got some pretty good comments. I gotta do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I'm never let anybody tell you to collect comic books, because if they do, they will get sick with a cold, and they will sneeze and get boogers all over themselves, and they'll look very stupid. I don't know. I, I really need, I really need an official catchphrase. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys for the next haul, the next review, next Funko Pop haul. Yeah, I, I know I gotta do that. Or, of course, catch me on Twitch. Don't worry about last week. You didn't miss nothing. I didn't stream because I was really sick. But I will be back on very soon. Alright, guys. Peace out.